Okay, so I'm back. Uh, once again, if you had, hopefully you watched the first video because there's going to be some importance to that. Um, but anyway, uh, again, I'm using my phone for a webcam. So um, that's why it's a little bit odd here. But anyway, so in this one, I'm going to show you how instead of making multiple sketches, we're going to make one sketch or more than one, but primarily do most of the heavy lifting with one sketch. So once again, we're designing this. Okay, we're just trying to figure out how to replicate this in Fusion 360. A um, couple, one of the differences is that we are going to instead make one set of rings, measurements, circulars, circles, and extrude them this piece, then this piece, then this piece, then this piece. Well, one piece, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need to know those measurements all from zero point. So let's go back to our original list of numbers. And so we are treating the male portion as the beginning. So I'm going to measure each individual distance. We have uh, well, I think last time I said 20 millimeters, but whatever. 18.5.5. I think we decided this was two and a half. Two point or no no, sorry. We need to measure from the bottom every single time. So 21.5. Coming to the lip here. 37, we'll say 37.5. It was a little shy of that, but 37.5. I like rounds or you know, point fives or zeros. And then to the to here, 39. And then total length is going to be uh, 60.65. We'll just say 60.5. 60.5. So that's not exactly everything I need, but it, it is kind of. Because what I really need is I need, uh, I'm, I'm going to need to do some subtraction and let's look at the differences here, okay? So the difference between 18.5 and 21.5 is 3. Difference between 21.5 and 37.5 is 16. Difference between 37.5 and 39 is 1.5. And difference between 39 and 60.5 is 21.5. So did I do my math there right? I'm going to assume, yes, I did. So, okay, um, just to keep my mind straight, I'm going to put little markers there. Okay, so let's, let's start making this. So we need to know diameters first. Okay, so let's get back to Fusion, go from the top. And I need to make every diameter that I have in this list. Okay, so let's just... Let's make them both visible so we can see them at the same time. I'm gonna hit the, this button, that button. Let's slide this over a bit till they're lined up. I should be able to grab them both. Well, it's not letting me. That's fine. And bring this over. Okay, so let's talk about circles. Circle, press the C button or just come over here I thought I started, okay, we didn't create a sketch yet, okay. Hit um, C or the circle button, and I'll click right here. And I know that I need to have the male portion, first diameter was 18.2, that's the internal diameter of the male. I need to have the outside diameter, which is going to be circle C button 22.2. The female end has an interior of 22 um, precisely, as so it's supposed to 22.5. So C, 22, okay, 25.5, 25.5, and then we had, um, yeah. That was that was it. So um, we also did. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that we did. 
Um, no. So again, you'll have to have watched the first video because we have the in, the the oxygen inlet, but that's different. That's a whole different thing. So um, I can kind of probably set these numbers aside for a second here. Control X. Because it's a separate component. So it's, in a sense, we can get rid of all these lengths because these lengths um, uh, are, are irrelevant. And we just need the diameters. We've got those. The male to female, this was the length, um, the rim thickness, um, which we've got those. So, yep, we don't need any of that. So we've got all of our lengths. The, um, what was the OR? Oxygen rim? Ah, oh, good grief. Um, just a second, I need to pause for a second. Not, not because of that, but because something else I need to address real really quick. Okay, I'm back. Um, so when I stepped away, I remembered what the um, OR was. I, because of the size, I knew it wasn't relevant because we don't have a diameter that's small. But what it was, it was the outside radius. It was outside radius instead of outside diameter, which isn't relevant to this, but it does come into effect when we talk about the um, um, the oxygen inlet. It was down here. That's how I got 15.3 plus 11.1 equal 26.4. If you didn't watch the first video, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now anyways, but um, watch the other video because I'm probably not going to get to this part in this video. Uh, the main thing is I'm showing how to create the rest of it. So anyway, I'm finished. I can go ahead and click Finish Sketch. So what I need to do first is the same thing as last time. I made the male end first. Okay. So the male was... Um, it is the, let's go ahead and um, show our well, normally I don't like seeing the um, all the uh, good grief, I can't think right now I'm trying to, I don't like seeing all of the um, dimensions and everything but right now it would be kind of nice to see them. I don't need them, but I don't know why. I mean, they don't usually disappear like that. Um, so, oh well. I'm sure there's, sorry, uh, this is one of those things that I don't ever have to mess with, so I'm not sure how to bring it back up. I'm sure it's super simple. Um, I probably, probably a shortcut button that I pressed and didn't even think about it. Um, no. Okay, well, whatever. So, um, I remember that I had uh, 22, point f 22 and 20.5, and so what I need to do is I need to extrude this guy and this because this is that extra little bit well let's click on the extrude button that one and this one and the dimension I need to go with it on the male oh, come on the male part will needs to go 18.5 uh, okay 18.5 Okay, so that's done. So now I need to make the next part, which is the stop. And the stop starts at 18.5 and goes for three millimeters. So to do that, I need to make sure the sketch is visible. I'm going to click, and it, it's easier, as I said in the previous video, you can swing underneath. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll just turn off the body, click all, well, I need all, I'm going to click on basically all of them, click extrude, unclick the middle part, and now I need to, in this case, instead of from a profile plane, I'm going to go from a offset plane. It needs to start at 18.5, that's where I extruded to already, 18.5, and then I need to go three millimeters. Okay. Now I need to turn bodies back on and say, done. All right. 
So I can go ahead and do the same thing again. Now I need to make the inside portion with um, these two pieces, this one and this one. I think I've got them both selected here. Nope, I don't. And from an offset plane, this time instead it's at 21.5. 21.5 and in this I'm going 16 millimeters. Turn the bodies back on. Click OK. See how we're getting there? We're getting there. We'll be there shortly. You don't even actually have to watch it. That's just to show you guys. So now I'm going to I'm at the I went I, I'm now at a total of 37.5. I need to get all of them. So I need to make another stop at a offset plane, 37.5. I'm going to go 1.5 millimeters here. Turn the bodies back on. OK. Once again, just to show you that it's there. Yep, there it is. And now lastly, we've done everything up to we are now. Turn the bodies off. This time we're just creating that outside diameter, which is going to be this one and um, this part right here. Okay. Offset plane, 39 millimeters. And we want to go 21 millimeters long. Turn the bodies back on. OK and we're done hide the sketch and there you go so that was a little different way than we did last time i've got the other one right here you can see that they are identical basically i mean the way i measured the links might be a little bit different i use the same diameters but the links might not be identical because i, I measured them from a different point of view but you can see there were two different ways to accomplish the same exact thing. Now, in this one, I went ahead and added this. Go watch the first video. I'm not going to redo that again um, just because I'm not going to do it any differently. Um, I did make a mistake when I did it. Um, but again, I, I really think people, I, I like to think that I learn from other people's mistakes more than I learn from my, you know, my successes. So um, anyway, hopefully that will help and um, hope this whole video helps. Okay, um, I'll make another video. I don't know if I'll make it right now. It's gonna be a different way of doing things, completely different, um, other than adding the tube at the end, but um, I'll see if I have time to make that. Um, yeah, we'll see. All right, thanks for watching.